So we're going to go through some simple examples of how to use the sample deformer. Um, we've got our character Mystique, and under the deform menu, I can create a sample deformer. And by default, if you only have the geometry selected, uh, basically nothing happens except the deformer gets created. So now if I add a deformation, uh, let's say I want to do a surface offset, and basically the direction of a surface offset would be along the tangent, uh, this, the surface tangent in X, the surface normal, and the surface tangent in Y, or basically your tangent U and your tangent V, and then the surface normal. So uh, let's move her up in the, uh, along the surface normal, get it up close. And now we kind of have the Shrek version of, uh, of Mystique. So in this case, basically, we're just using the sample deformer as a way to do an offset on the surface. If I uh, turn up the tangency, or how much we move along the tangent of the surface, let's say we'll crank that up. You see she kind of slides along her UVs. This can actually be a pretty cool effect um, if used very subtly along uh, to do things along the lines of, of skin stretching over muscle. Um, basically if you have your UVs laid out well you can actually sort of drive your skin along itself um, which can be a pretty cool effect. Uh, the other options are you can do axis aligned so in this case the axes are X, Y, and Z in world space. So as I move it up, she moves along the x-axis. If I make that negative, she goes the opposite way, and so on. So now you can add multiple deformations within this single node. So now for the second deformer, um, let's say that this is a surface offset, so we'll, we'll start to morph her, and we can move her with the morph. So you can also do your traditional um, deformation layering where you create one deformer after the other and they, they chain the results into each other, but this is a way of doing them additively um, in the same node, which can sometimes be e easier to manage and can also give you some different effects. Okay, so now the, uh, the real magic behind the sampler deformer is the sampling part. Uh, I'm just going to turn this one off. And so we have these weight maps, and basically it's just like any other map in Maya. You can map it with any of the, uh, the Maya shading nodes. So... So I'll create the uh, texture as a ramp with a projection. And the reason why I'm using a projection is basically because in this version of Mystique, her UVs are basically shot. They are based on an old patch model layout. Um, so we don't really have a continuous UV surface that we can use. Um, however, you know, your, your typical pelting techniques give, uh, give nice surfaces to sort of crawl effects over in 2D space. Okay, so I'm gonna create the ramp um, as a projection. And we can go into the, uh, the projection node and under, under its effects, basically turn off the wrapping. Let's take a look. Okay, so what it's done is it's basically done a, uh, a flat projection over her. And let me just change this to be a grayscale ramp with values going from 0 to 1. And now you can see she gets uh, she gets taller. Um, so let's localize this effect further and say the projection is going to be cylindrical. And uh, we can move it so it's just happening over her arm. Okay, so now the, uh, basically we've got the ramp controlling the projection, and we want it to uh, basically bulge in the middle 
and not at the ends. So we can smoothly move that bulge in. You, know, you can use all of your, your different ramp attributes and your color noises and all that kind of stuff if you want to dirty up your effect. Now let's go back to the sampler deformer and uh, sculpt sort of what that effect looks like. So right now it's set up to be axis aligned. So in this case, I've just set it so it's only deforming in the uh, Y axis, but we wanted to make a bulge, so I'll go back to surface offset. Ah. One thing to note when you're uh, using ramps is that they have default colors. So you want to set that default color. So basically, outside of that ramp, what color is it going to be? If we had it set to white, it'd get the full effect. Um, we set the default color down to zero. So you know now we've got a, a bulge that we can move anywhere on her body. Um, you can use your your typical ramp attributes and uh, 2D texture placement attributes on that as well. So you can do things like. Uh, Translate it. If you want to get some sort of a pulsing effect, so pretty powerful tool for that. Um, now you know to get the the typical mystique transformation effect, the sampler deformer gets used as a uh, as a morph target. So what I can do is either uh, let's bring in our character. Just move him to the side. Okay, so there's there's the magneto model that we've got. So if I want, I can um, basically just like you would create any blend shape, you select your target or multiple targets, and you select the object that you're morphing into last, and you can create a sampler deformer that way. Um, but for the purpose of teaching you how the tool works. I'll just go down to the Deformer menu. I'll first pick Magneto, and I'm going to edit um, my Sampler Deformer, and I'm going to add this target to Sampler Deformer 1. So that's how you'd go about adding um, additional characters into your deformation. So now we've got Deformation 3. And if I turn that on, now we've got Magneto's body factoring in. So we can just go through the same process and uh, let's see, we can um, let's see something a little bit different. Let's just grab this crater texture. And again, turn off the wrap. So now I can position this crater texture over the head, over Mystique's head. Same idea here, when you turn off the wrap, you turn down the uh, color balance to be black. And now as I adjust the noise on the crater texture, you can see that the morph changes. same idea, you can just animate that moving, um, cycle it through, whatever. Um, so basically it's your shader networks that are that are being used to drive the sample deformer, and you can layer you know really advanced shader networks together to create pretty complex effects.